everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tyranny, blogger behind MissTyranny.com. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do a number talk in class. I do number talks in my classroom to help my students improve their mental math skills. So for number talks, I like to start by using my number talks book. This resource provides me with number sentences that I can use in my classroom during number talks. I choose a number sentence based off the strategy that I want my students to practice in class that day. So I may choose a number sentence that teaches students about doubling or adding to subtract or even decomposing. So once I have decided on the number sentence that I'm going to be using for the number talk, I like to bring all of my students to the carpet. From there, I write the number sentence on the board. Then I set a timer for two minutes, giving all of my students an opportunity to solve this number sentence using the mental math strategies that they have learned about. I want my students to solve these number sentences in as many different strategies as they can possibly think of. Every time students solve the problem using a different mental math strategy, they add a finger to their chest each and every time. This represents the number of strategies that they have come up with. So once the two minutes are up, I call on students to share just their final answer with me. So I write all the different final answers on the board. Then I try to eliminate. So I go through each answer choice asking students to show me with a nonverbal signal whether they also got the same final answer or which final answer they received. So once I've kind of figured out the majority final answer that my students receive, I then like to call on different students to share out their mental math strategy that they used in order to get to that final answer. At this time, I usually call on about three students total, and I just serve as a scribe, writing down the way that they are sharing that they solve this problem mentally. I am just writing it on the board. There is little to no teacher interference happening during this time. I did add to subtract, so I started with 89, and then I added 10, which equaled 99, and then I just added 1, which equaled 100, and then I added 10 and 1, which equaled 11, and that's how I got my answer. This allows students to self-correct themselves as well as check for any errors that they may have made while solving the problem mentally. Once done, we review the strategies and students can also make comments and add on and I like to also ask the class which strategy they personally prefer and why. So that is how I conduct number talks in my classroom, but I will say that the number one reason why number talks are successful in my classroom is because of my solid classroom management procedures and routines that I have set up around number talks. As a thank you for watching, I like to offer you a free resource. So you can click the link in my description box down below to download my flawless formula for creating and establishing procedures and routines in your classroom. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to share this video with any other teachers that you know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!